This clip shows a quick start scenario for connecting dynamic network variables using the LProxy simple mode. This project shows node A with network variable NVO temp and NVE switch. Let's connect these network variables to another node in a different LNS database. This can be easily established by using two LProxy FT10 ports. At first, you have to add one LProxy port to this project. Just click the button Create a new node and name it, for example, Port 1. Activate the option Create node from device template. Make sure that you have selected the right template and click OK to finish. Now you have to add a virtual interface for creating dynamic network variables. Select the device, click right mouse button and go to Virtual Interface. Select New Interface, name the interface and click OK to finish. Now you can drag and drop the network variables from node A into the new created interface. Click OK to add the new network variable and go to Create for creating this connection. Same way with the second network variable. Now you have created two dynamic network variables on LProxy port 1. Now you can commission the device to finish the project. Click right mouse button and go to Network. Now select Commission and enter the neuron ID or press the service pin. Now click the button Continue and you have successfully commissioned a proxy port 1. Now you can save and close project number 1. Open a second project in a different LNS database or different domain. This example shows target device node B, including network variables NVE temp and NVO switch. Now create LProxy port 2 by clicking Create a new node. Name the new node, for example, port 2. Activate Create node from a device template and make sure that you use the right template. Finally, click OK to finish. Now you have assigned the second LProxy port to this project and you can create dynamic network variables. Just select the device, click right mouse button and go to Virtual Interface. Select the new interface and name it, for example, Test Interface and click OK to finish. Now drag and drop the network variables into the new interface on LProxy. Click OK to add the new network variable and click Create to create the connection. Go on with the second network variable. and you have created new dynamic network variables on LProxy port. Now you can commission this device, select the device, click right mouse button, go to Network and select Commission. Press Service Pin or enter Neuron ID. Click the Continue button to finish. You have now successfully commissioned port 2 and now you can switch to LProxy Configurator to connect port 2 and port 1. Just click right mouse button, go to Plugins and select the LProxy Configurator. Mind the status, this should be configured and online so that you can upload the configuration. Just click the button Upload Configuration. Click the Start button and synchronize local dynamic network variables. The tool tells you that your current configuration will be overwritten. Just click Yes to continue. Now you have successfully synchronized four dynamic network variables. Just click Finish. 
And here you find the four corresponding network variables from port 2 and port 1. Now you can use the magic wand in order to connect the network variables. Please mind that this only creates internal connections for network variables with the same base name. For this example, NVE temp from port 1 will be connected to NVO temp from port 2 and NVE switch from port 2 will be connected to NVO switch from port 1. Now click the magic wand for automatic connections. Now you are told that two new connections have been created and you can see a log file. Just leave this dialog and you can now switch to the connections tab and you see the new two connections. There is connection 1 including NVE switch from port 2 and NVO switch from port 1 and connection 2 including NVE temp from port 1 and NVO temp from port 2. Now you should save this configuration back to the device. Just click the download button and click on start to proceed. Click the OK button when the download is finished. Finally, we have connected the network variables from port 1 and port 2 internally in order to connect different projects. After all, it is recommended to locally save this configuration.